These five people are amongst the greatest country players in Britain. Together they make up the Eggheads, arguably the most formidable quiz team in the country. The question is, can they be beaten? Welcome to Eggheads, the show where a team of five Goliaths just pit their wits against possibly the greatest quiz Goliaths. You might recognize them as they've won some of the country's toughest quiz shows. They are the Goliaths. And taking on the might of our quiz Goliaths today are Beer Today, Gone Tomorrow. The team are all Goliaths at Oxford Brooks University and take a crate of beer Monday night. They came up with a team name as the prize for the quiz is normally a crate of beer. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm nine. Hi, I'm Peter Science. Hi. Hi, yeah. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Business. Yes, uh, very, very original then. Beer, beer today. <laughs> so, so what kind of beer? Expensive beer? Oh, uh, mainstream, but uh, it's usually for expensive, sort of lagery top type beer. Mm, Soon beer, yeah. basically. Never Student. beers. How anyway. often do you win it? Every other beer. Maybe. Yeah, every probably other every other week. week. We do Slightly more than that, maybe. Well. I didn't yeah. like to brag, you know. <laughs> okay, well, you've been doing well there. Let's see how you do on eggheads. Every day there's one pound's worth of cash up for grabs for our challenges. However, if they fail to defeat the eggheads, the prize money rolls over to the next show. So, beer today, gone tomorrow. The eggheads have won the last 74 fours, which means 75 pounds. Says you can't beat Goliath. The first head-to-head -head battle, then, beer today, gone tomorrow, is going to be on food and drink and drink and food. Given your team name, who'd like to play this? Uh, Peter Science, you're the man on food and drink. Peter Science, yeah, Peter Science, yeah. yeah. okay, please. So, Craig, you're kicking off the beer today gone tomorrow. It's food and drink. Do you want to go first or second? I'd like to go for Dermot. He's Dermot. Here's the question Which condom is made from a plant in the cabbage family? Black pepper, mustard, or vinegar? Oh, I, I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. Yes, it is. Uh, well, Absolutely. Mate. It's mustard that is uh, a plant in the cabbage family. So, uh, nothing there. Slip up. CJ, lim is what type of food product? Is it cheese, fruit bread, or beer? I think, I think it's beer, but I'm, I'm not at all positive. You've got their team name on your mind. It's, it's beer. A... <laughs> He's slipped up himself. Second question. An olive oil classed as virgin, virgin, must have no more than 0.8% of what? Acid, sodium or fat? Well, don't, I'm fairly sure it's not fat because uh, obviously oil is fat. Yeah, I'm going to play acid. Well, you went the acid route with your vinegar on the last one, is it uh, right this time? It's not the right answer, Craig. Extra virgin olive oil must have no more than 0.8% acid. CJ, it's your second question. Scotch broth contains broth. Back to you then. A third question for you. What is the name of the Italian that comes from Siena? Panettone. Panettone. Panettone is quite nice, but it's not from Siena. Yes, it is. Uh, well, Absolutely. Mate. Panforte is uh, from Siena. CJ. Marshmallow CJ is made from which part of the name of the same plant? Roots, leaves, or stems? Um, again, I don't know this, but I'll go for roots. Just seems the most likely. Okay, it's correct, CJ. Marshmallow is made from uh, the roots of the name, which means relatively low-scoring round. CJ, you're through to the final round. Craig, I'm afraid you're going to make it there. Would you both please come back and join your Goliaths? Okay, beer today, gone tomorrow. Lost uh, one brain. Charlie and Daphne into the question room, please, just to make sure there's no conferring. Charlie, would you like to go first or second? I'll go, Dermot, please, Dermot. And, Daphne, the question is this, then, you're in first. Um, what name was given to the troops loyal to the king during the English... Roundheads, Cavaliers or Chartists? <laughs> what name was given to the troops loyal to the king during the English Civil War? Name of the Cavaliers, Dermot. Either Vietnam or Thailand. Um, Vietnam. Vietnam's calling out above Thailand. OK. Uh, you're certainly not India. You're right there, but it's certainly not India. Um, uh, Huge French influence there. Uh, it's India. OK, well, a chance for Daphne to go into a 2-0 lead. Daphne, the hammer of Daphne was a nickname of which King of England? Charles I, Henry I or Edward I? Edward I is the right answer, Daphne, which means, Charlie, you're really under the cosh. You've got to get cosh. You've... 
Charlie, who famously described Europe as being divided by posh on March the 5th, 1946? Stalin, Churchill or Truman? Absolutely right. V for victory. So, Tom, what's it going to be for you, first or second? I'll go for Dermot, please, Dermot. OK, good luck, Tom. Here's the question. Which branch of bones and joints is all disorders of the bones and joints? Pediatrics, orthopedics or obstetrics? <laughs> uh, well, it's definitely not pediatrics, because that's with kids. I've got a feeling it's pediatrics, so I'll go with pediatrics, please. It's the right answer. Well done, Tom. Well done. Judith, the goonie bird is a variety of which avian species? Is it cockin, cockatoo or cockacoccus? I'm not sure. I, I, think, I don't think it's cockatoo. The goonie bird. Goonie bird, yes. G-O-O-N-E, cockatoo. I don't know. Um, I think it's either cockatoo or cockatoo. Um, I think I'll go for cockatoo. OK, the goonie bird is a variety of cockatoo. Cock it's correct, Judith. Well done, so. To all, might win it with this, Tom. What is the term for the process of cell reproduction during which one cell is divided into two genetically identical daughter cells, cymosis, mitosis, or myosotis. It's got to be mitosis. It's definitely mitosis. Fantastic, Tom. It's the right answer. Yes, well, mitosis. Well, mate. Yeah, two right up your cock there. But uh, Judith is hanging on to your coattails. But she goes out if she doesn't get this Judith. The two South American species of the camel family that are not domesticated and live in the wild are the vicuna and which other? The alpaca, the guanaco or the llama? The not domesticated ones. It's the right answer. <laughs> We're going into sudden death. <laughs>